So today I'm going to be talking about my dad's experience with gambling addiction. Um, so almost seven years ago he ended up very suddenly going to prison. Um, he'd stolen money from his work to fund a gambling addiction that he kept secret for a very long time. Um, but really talking not just about what happened to him but also what happened to the rest of the family, myself, my brothers, my mom, my community, um, kind of all that ripple effect of people who got touched by this kind of new side of my dad that we got to learn about. Um, so I'm really going to be talking a lot about that and how it's affected us and uh, what we've done since. So I think like say in the past decade, so since my dad's story came to light and since we've been really involved in advocating for more support for people with this problem, um, things have advanced very quickly. So lots more services are popping up, there's been more investment. Um, particularly, you know, looking at Gordon Moody now starting to do more work with affected others and family members and friends I think is really important because what happens to them when they get left behind when there's this big trauma in the family or for instance in our case when that family member is actually locked away um, how do you get support for that it's a very unique situation so um, we've accessed lots of other support like in our journey but back then what was available was very minimal so it was like Gamblers Anonymous maybe speaking to your GP um, or researching help online. Um, now it's great to see more groups popping up and more support being rolled out. Mm -hmm.